What's up guys, in today's Tech Gear Talk, we're gonna look at the new Corsair K70 RGB Mark II. Now this is an updated version of the original K70, which was released four years ago. And Corsair has made some nice upgrades to the Mark II, so let's get to the review. so let's look at some key features of this keyboard and then let's go into them in a little more detail. The K70 Mark II that I'll be reviewing uses Cherry MX Red Key Switches and it offers 100% anti-ghosting with full key rollover to make sure that every single keystroke is registered quickly and accurately. It has practically unlimited backlight color combinations and 8 megabytes of onboard profile storage. It has dedicated volume and multimedia controls to offer on-the-fly adjustments and it includes FPS and MOBA keycap sets. Finally, this board has a USB pass-through for any peripherals that you may want to attach and it's fully programmable with Corsair's utility engine or Q. My goal with every product review is to give you a detailed overview of the product features as well as hands-on experience so that you can make an informed buying decision. And if you find it helpful, please let me know by giving it a like and then hitting the subscribe and notification button for more keyboard and tech reviews. I also want to give a shout out to Corsair for sending me this keyboard to review. Alright, so let's look at the K70 Mark II in more detail. I want to start out by talking about the look and feel of the Mark II. The frame is made of aircraft grade anodized brushed aluminum, which I think gives this board a premium look and feel. My K68 RGB, for example, has a matte black finish, which I also like, so ultimately it comes down to personal preference. The K70 Mark II is also offered in a special edition silver aluminum frame with white keys, which looks sick. Back to the brushed aluminum version, the spacebar is textured and gives the board a very unique look. The Mark II uses the new large typeface that you'll see on the new Corsair boards. I like how much of the LED light passes through this white font, so you really get to see the colors not just around the keys, but through them. Next, let's look at the upgraded Corsair logo in the center of the board, which is now RGB rather than Chrome like on some previous boards. And that's a super nice touch by Corsair and provides a more consistent look with the rest of the Mark II. Which brings me to colors, and the K70 Mark II offers per key RGB backlighting, which means that you could technically program each key to use a different color. Some people are going to take advantage of this high level of customization, and some are going to be happy with a variety of onboard pre-installed effects. Now, using Corsair's Q software, you'll have access to the entire RGB spectrum of over 16 million colors, so that you can choose from any hue combination that you can think of. Again, if you don't feel like messing around with it, you can just choose from the various lighting patterns which are available by default. With most presets, you can also select the speed and direction of the movement, which is really cool. Alright, so let's move on. The K70 Mark II is super well built. The aircraft grade anodized brushed aluminum frame is extremely durable and feels super solid. From a build quality standpoint, the Mark II is clearly a premium board and is both lightweight and built to last. This particular board comes with 100% gold contact Cherry MX red key switches that have been super responsive and accurate for me. The Cherry MX Reds are linear keyboard switches, so they don't have tactile or audible feedback to let you know that you're past the actuation point, which is at about 1.5 millimeters. So you're either bottoming out or with practice, you learn where the actuation point is and you get used to it. Personally, I really like the smooth linear response and they've worked great for me when I'm playing, programming, designing and editing. Now the K70 Mark II is a standard full-size board, so it's not a 10 keyless board, which is sometimes a consideration if you're tight on space. Okay, so let's move on to the function of the Mark II. Beyond the long-term reliability of the Cherry MX key switches, you're also getting 100% anti-ghosting and full key rollover, or NKRO. If you're familiar with gaming and higher-end mechanical keyboards, you already know what that means. But if you wanna know more, there's a link in the description to my review of the K68 RGB, where I explain what these two terms mean and why they are so important. In short, I'll just say that the combination of anti-ghosting and NKRO ensures that no matter how fast you use the keyboard or how much of a masher you are, every single key press is registered correctly. Now going back to the Cherry MX Reds, they're also very quiet, so this particular variant isn't as clicky as one that would use Blues, for example. 
the K70 Mark II is offered with red, blue, brown, silent, and speed key switches. So you can choose the sound and tactile feedback that you like best. I'll give you a sound test so you can get an idea of what the reds sound like. On the right, above the number pad, you'll find the dedicated media buttons. You have a stop, previous, play, pause, and next buttons. Above the row of buttons, you'll see the mute button as well as the volume rocker, which replaces the traditional volume up and down keys. I really like the new volume rocker. It's super smooth and accurate, and I actually prefer it to volume up and down buttons. Now going back to the multimedia keys, you can see that the design is more consistent with the rest of the keys on the board. Rather than the squishy, rubbery buttons used on some boards, Corsair opted for this new style which really gives the board a more refined and premium look. I mentioned this before, but I love having the mute button on the board itself so that I can quickly turn off the sound if I get a call without having to fumble around get to the speaker volume controls. There are three other keys on the top left of the board. The first allows you to switch profiles. This way you can set up different profiles and then switch them on the fly. The board does come with 8 megabytes of onboard profile storage so that you can use the stored profiles without the need for the Q software to be installed. And this lets you take the board with you, plug it in anywhere, and use your lighting settings. The next button is a dedicated key for controlling the brightness of the keyboard. You can use it to alternate between three brightness levels and an off state. And finally, there's a key that will let you lock the Windows key. And this feature is critical for gaming so you don't accidentally hit the Windows key and then dump yourself out into the desktop in the middle of a game. Next, Corsair did include textured FPS and MOBA keycap sets, as well as a keycap removal tool, which is something I now expect from a high-end board. Moving on, the MK2 also comes with a detachable palm rest to add comfort and support. I'm at my desk for 10 to 12 hours a day, so ergonomics are a priority for me. My desk can be moved up and down, so I always make sure that the keyboard is at the optimal height, but I like the additional support that this clip-on palm rest offers. It is plastic, so it doesn't actually add a ton of padding per se, but if your keyboard is positioned at the appropriate height and your arms are resting comfortably, there shouldn't be a ton of pressure on your palms to begin with. And this board is extremely comfortable even after hours of use. The cord on the back of the Mark II is a very thick USB cable with a splitter, which of course is needed if you plan on using the USB pass-through port on the back of the board. You can use this USB port for a mouse, a USB headset, or any other peripheral. Let's take a look at the bottom of the board. There are little risers on the back of the keyboard that can be flipped up to tilt the keyboard a bit. And this is something you may use if you find that the slight angle change is more comfortable. And finally, there are also underside cable routing channels to help with cable management. Overall, the K70 Mark II is a really nice mechanical keyboard. I love the brushed aluminum finish and the ability to practically have unlimited combination of backlighting colors. The Cherry MX Red key switches are super responsive and 100% anti-ghosting and full key rollover make sure that each keystroke is always registered correctly. I love the new look and the accessibility of the dedicated multimedia controls and the volume rocker works really well. If you're a casual or competitive gamer or even if you don't game but are just a super heavy computer user, give this board a look. The K70 RGB Mark II sells for $159.99 and I'll put links in the description because there are always specials and discounts and the links will automatically be updated with the lowest pricing. I really hope this video gave you a good overview of the Corsair K70 RGB Mark II. If it did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up, tweet it, share it, and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. You can always find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. Good luck and see you soon.